If you own a Honda Ridgeline, you are likely a bit miffed that the tailgate does not lock. eTrailer at eTrailer.com provides a tailgate lock, pop lock, for owners who want or need a tailgate lock. Mine arrived a few days after making my order over the phone. The service was pleasant and helpful. The pop lock kit is nicely packaged and is a bit more substantial than the tailgate lock assembly. It contains everything but the tools to do the installation, which could be as little as a Torx wrench, Phillips screwdriver, and wire cutters. Removing and replacing the plastic skin of the tailgate is honestly the most challenging part of the installation. I found the top of the edge of the cover can be bumped to the passenger side to slide it off its hold down clips. This is easier than removing the clips as per e-trailer instructions. Do, however, note the orientation of the clips. A quarter turn in either direction will make them impossible to fit their mating slots during reassembly. Once apart, this is what you will see. I live where just about every truck is missing or will be missing a tailgate because of rust. So I painted the tailgate assembly inside with a water-activated epoxy called Miracle Paint. I have been using it on new and restored vehicles for years and have yet to find rust where it has been applied. The PopLock tailgate hardware installs in a few minutes. The e-trailer video is helpful. My unit has had a design change since that video and is even easier to install into the locking mechanism. I've included a piece of EPP between the solenoid and the tailgate to mitigate any vibration that may occur. E-Trailer proposes a wiring route to connect the pop lock to the native ridgeline wiring. I found that drilling a 3 8 hole in the floor about mid-driver side passenger's door allows a very simple path for the wire into the cabin and avoids the cramp installation through the firewall. It also allows the removal of 76 inches of wire from the installation. A little RTV easily plugs and cushions the wire in the hole. Removing the rear door sill plate is accomplished by lightly prying upward. The wire is simply routed through the tunneling to the front door seal that it, along with the left front kick panel, also needs to be removed to continue the routing to the fuse panel below the dash. A note here, it is a good idea to remove any plastic retainers that hold these parts from the body if they fail to come out when you remove the plastic parts. Inserting them into the plastic parts before reassembly will greatly increase the speed of reassembly. The e-trailer instructions for wiring was accurate for my ridgeline, but verifying wires is a good idea. Ground one lead and tap into the appropriate wire on the wiring bus with the other. While holding this, press the lock button to lock and unlock. You should see the voltage spike to 12-ish volts in one of the two positions. The same for the second wire. The two wiring harness wires swap positive and negative rolls to give the pop lock forward and reverse action. I may want to put an off-on switch to the tailgate lock. Using a pair of J-connectors makes further customization plug-and-play. The bus containing the lock activating wires does come out of its socket. After positive identification of the correct wires, removing the plug from its socket will give a lot easier access for your connection method. I chose to solder. The supplied connectors I find problematic, but that's just me. After testing for correct switching, lock and unlock, make your connection solid and reassemble the interior. The tailgate should now be reassembled. The large interfacing of the tailgate using the Torx bolts goes in first, then the top edge mounted piece that slides onto the slotted retainers. This piece will take a little finesse. Install any clips that may have come off into the top of the tailgate. Line all of them up correctly. Mine had a tab that has to be parallel to the tailgate. Place the large top edge plastic molding, lining it up with the large holes left of the slots for the retainers. Then slowly, in increments, bump the large plastic top piece to the left. I found I needed to use a screwdriver to line up the retainers between bumps. When the large plastic piece is centered on the tailgate, use your screwdriver to lightly nudge the retainers to the right to make sure they snap into their locked position. Put on the top bezel with its four screws, and you are done. If you are at all handy, it will take you longer to put your tools away than to install this much-needed Richline improvement.